Attention, the following video is going to totally kick ass. If you enjoy any of it and or have a large penis, please click the like button below. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Shadow Beats here with a second Q&A because I promised that I would be uploading more gameplay to this channel and it hasn't exactly panned out. Uh, I have my reasons, I have excuses for it, but hey, excuses are like tampons. Every pussy has one, so I'm not going to get into that if you follow me on twitter however i tweeted out a picture of me and my new h well not of me but i have an hd tv so i really don't have any excuses anymore so it's just a matter of you know me getting motivated to put together more not just call of duty but just gameplay so we'll see where that goes but you know that's for the future Yada yada yada. Right now, just a simple little AA12 free for all that you guys will watch while I answer a bunch of questions. The first of which is Hey man, if you had the chance to be a household name but not have any time to play Xbox with the crew, would you take it? At this point, I would probably say no. I am a socially awkward individual and I don't really feel like I would handle that kind of fame very well. So, um,. Plus, I love playing Xbox, and I love the guys that I play with. It's just, on a nightly basis, I have so much fun, and I really don't want to give that up. That being said, you know, 10 years down the road, we don't know where YouTube is going to be. Uh, so, maybe by then, we'll see. But as as of right now, I would ra I'd much rather be playing Xbox. Uh, where do you come up with the cheesy pickup lines? <laughs> um... Honestly, most of them are off the top of my head. I don't want to say all because they're really not, and there have been a few. I admit there have been a few that I've heard from other places. But they were just too good to pass up. But most of them, like um, the Mass Effect one and the, the Georgia one, were just like, I don't know. I, I guess I'm weird like that. Not weird. I, I, I just got too much swag, so it's easy for me. Yeah. We're, we're, uh, we're going to go with that. What is the funniest slash craziest thing you have done while being drunk? I don't know. I have never been drunk. <laughs> That's one thing that I can say that I am very proud of in my uh, my time on this earth. I am of, you know, legal drinking age. I'm over 21, but I've never never had a drink in my life. Never, never even done drugs. None of that. It's, I, again have my reasons for it but then you know it kind of turns into a sob story which I don't like so we'll just go with I've never been drunk and I don't plan on being drunk so I guess that's the craziest thing that I've done what is your height sports that's that's a well worded question there Mr. Adam plays cod um height is I mean depending on what measures me I go anywhere between 5'11 to 6'1 so I just like to, you know, make myself feel good and just say I'm an even six foot so I don't feel like a short ass. <laughs> um, and as far as sports go, I never really played sports for um, my high school or anything like that. I played Little League basketball or yeah, Little League baseball and youth basketball. But, you know, that was when I was like 10. Uh, so as far as organized sports, I haven't really played it in years. However, I do love playing it with my friends, basketball, football. Love to play hockey, but unfortunately, yeah, it doesn't happen here where where I live. Everybody wants to play basketball, but hey, I'm not holding grudges. Um, well, that's blah, blah, blah. anyway. Do you play any instruments? Uh, kind of. <laughs> um, I have a guitar, and I have a bass guitar. Would I call myself a guitarist? No. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to confidently go pick up a guitar, just sit in, like, the middle of, like, a city or something and just play for people. Uh, but I do like, you know, I'm stressed or something, just occasionally sitting down with a guitar and just playing melodies. Yeah, <laughs> so do I play any instruments besides a computer? I'm going to have to say no. However, I do sometimes like to pick up a guitar and, you know, play with it a little bit. Did you ever think you were going to get a lot of subs? Honestly, no. 
and that was because I never really cared until honestly until a few months ago to be completely real with y'all um, a lot of my subs were actually gained from just being associated with Jehovah and Speedy but in the beginning like I just did the YouTube thing the music thing because I enjoyed it and like I, I never really had any intention of you know growing my channel or even getting partnership you know like my goal in the beginning was maybe what like a hundred subs just like a little community and go from there I'd never even thought that I would hit a thousand let alone the 50 that I just eclipsed it's just it's crazy can I get a theme song yeah. uh, <laughs> if you would like to use a song that I have already made go for gold you know just follow the download link in the description you know it's I'm gonna take this time to say yes it is okay to use my music I know I still get messages and I'm extremely lazy I don't mind them I just am horrible with responding but as far as a custom theme song I really don't like doing that because then it I, I don't know I feel pressured and I can't really focus and get inspired to make a song so I mean this is I, I've gotten this question a lot actually in PMs too and th as far as custom songs not no like I, occasionally I'll make one for like you know one of my friends because you know they provide a shitload of samples that I can work with but as far as taking time out and making like so many people e even like a 10 to 15 second one I, I, I can't do it I'm gonna have to respectfully decline any advice for an amateur musician? Well, being an amateur musician myself, I would have to say, be committed. Uh, that was probably one that I'm, I'm just gonna have to say right now. Your first few songs, uh, you're gonna think sound, you know, you're gonna think, you're gonna be proud of them, like, and, and you should be. I remember uh, when I first made, you know, Shadow and Straight Edge, and like my f very first songs that I don't recommend going, but they're on my channel. I was extremely proud of them, and like I, I loved listening to them, and I loved how they turned out. But then, you know, as you know, weeks go by, and you know, you just hear it so much. It's just you really, well, if you're as critical of yourself as I am, you you kind of hate them. And it, it it's kind of discouraging hearing, you know, Nero and Flux Pavilion and all these guys and comparing it to your songs. It, it's it's a process. That's just one thing. Y you're not going to be making, you know, Headhunters music just, like, overnight. It, it's something that you got to be committed to. But at the same time, it's really not that hard to be committed to it because it's fun. You know, y you learn with every single song. And so that that would be first and foremost. Um, just be ready to be committed, but it's not like a com like a what, what's that word? It, it's not a damn it. Whatever. It, it's not like a commitment. It's not a commitment that you have to make unwillingly, like marriage. It's one that you you like to do it because it's fun and hopefully you enjoy music. So that's what. Uh, that's what I would have to say to that. And I think we have time for one more real quick. Have you ever used Fruity Loops Studios? Downloaded the demo for it um, before I got Reason. Played around a little bit. I honestly didn't really like it too much. Besides, that was right before <laughs> and right after that I downloaded the demo for Reason and just fell in love right away. So that's where Fruity Loops Studios goes. And, yeah, that's about it. The score screen is probably up right now. So, yeah, I'm going to end this quick. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.